thank you, Travis. It was a you know great atmosphere here uh, Saturday. We had 27,000 fans at that game Saturday. Our, our administration did a great job promoting that first home game, and it was just a great atmosphere to play in. It was a tremendous football game. Came down the wire, and we missed a field goal at the end to win it. Uh, but we did some great things offensively. 529 yards of offense. Tyler Rogers threw for 445 yards, three touchdowns. And, so we're building some things offensively. Uh, you know, we won the turnover margin battle again, three to one. So we did, we did about everything you could to win the game. We just didn't win it. And uh, you know, hats off to Georgia State. They played a good game. But uh, we got a huge rivalry game this week with UTEP. So we will rebound, see if we keep getting better, and there'd be another packed house here at New Mexico State. And uh, look forward to playing again. Thank you, Coach. As a reminder to our members of the media, Star One, uh, to get your questions in the queue. Uh, um, our first questions come from Randy with the Sun Belt Digital Network. Randy, please go ahead. Good morning, Coach Martin. How are you doing this morning? I'm good, Randy. How are you? Doing good, thank you. Um, you mentioned Tyler Rogers' big day. Um, why do you think you guys were so successful through the air against Georgia State? Well, you know, Georgia State played a lot of man coverage, and uh, so we had a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and we've got some pretty good wide receivers that can make plays. Uh, and I thought Tyler was really, for most of the part of the game, was really sharp. He had the one interception he threw that uh, was the only turnover we had all day. Uh, it was a mystery. But other than that, uh, he really gave our receivers a chance to go up and make plays, and he could have had an even bigger day. We actually had, you know, six passes that were dropped, and, uh, and he still threw for 445 and three touchdowns. So he's maturing as a quarterback. And you mentioned, um, you know, in the opening statement about the crowd support at the game, you know, with it being sold out. Did you notice that lift up your team and during key moments or just throughout the game at all? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that, that's something new around here. And uh, Mario Mocha, our athletic director, has done a great job of bringing energy and enthusiasm here. And there's a buzz around town about football again. And it's, it's just, it was incredible. It was a great atmosphere. It's what college football should be every Saturday. And you know, what it can be here every Saturday. And, again, a, a local rival coming in next week. Um, what are you seeing from UTEP? Yeah, this is a really good football team. And they're 0-2 right now, but they played Arkansas and Texas Tech. So, I mean, they played some power conference teams that are really physical, really good football teams. And UTEP is a very physical team. Uh, they play with a very aggressive nature, uh, especially on defense. They really run to the football. Uh, I think they've got great size and speed. They've got one of the best running backs in the country in Jones who's had an ankle injury, but I'm sure he'll play this Saturday. Uh, but he, you know, he's going to be an NFL running back, so we'll certainly have our, our uh, work cut out for us. Thanks, Coach Martin. Appreciate your time. Okay, thanks, Randy.